Hello, Cosby. Let me say a very good happen to your cherished viewers and to wish every staff member of TV3 a happy and prosperous new year. As a matter of fact, this issue is a national issue. And I think as a country, we've not been fair to the good people of Apafo, Lolobi, and Central Kofi. Mm. But we are behaving as if once we are okay, they don't matter. It was on that note that when the Electoral Commission was to appear before the Special Budget Committee of Parliament for their budget hearing, some of us insisted that she come in person mm -hmm. so that we put this matter before her. Even though at that time we did not assume that people may be raising these matters before the Superior Court of Judicature or before the President in the form of a petition. Mm. But we wanted, as a, the people's representative in the country, to investigate, to inquire from the Electoral Commission the steps being taken and the steps that led to the disenfranchisement and non representation of the people of San Prokofi, Apafu, and Lolobi. Right. Even though they are not being said to, but unfortunately, the Electoral Commission couldn't come in person with the reason that she was indisposed. Mm -hmm. That one, we had to listen to the deputies. And the matter, even though she in person did not appear, the matter was raised before the budget hearing of the Special Budget Committee, and it was addressed. Right. The response from the Electoral Commission was that the matter of SAR is before the Attorney General. So, in principle, they have written to the government adv legal advisor for advice. Okay. And that the constitutional instrument that will be used to create the consistency for the Santrocofi, Aquafo, and Lolubi people is with the special budget, is with the Attorney General and Minister for Justice. So, she was certain or the Electoral Commission was certain that by 31st of March 2022, mm -hmm. they are certain that that consistency will be created. However, there are certain constitutional matters so long as that issue is concerned. Because once the consistency is created, people were raising the matter that you can't create a consistency within these four years and elect a member of parliament within the four years. So if that matter is referred to the Supreme Court, matters of constitutional interpretation are within the bosom of the Supreme Court. So when they gave us this information, we thought we could wait for the 31st of March, mm. 2022, to make sure that the good people of San Kofi, Apafo, and Lolobi have their constituency. You will bear with me that as we speak now, they have a district assembly, even though without a constituency, which in itself is a constitutional breach. Yeah. The DC who was elected to represent in the district has just passed. So it's a district without a DC and without a constituency. Mm. So the allocation from the District Assembly Common Fund, that should have been going to them, how it will be utilized, that one too, is a different matter on its own. But we know that MPs are giving District Assembly Common Fund, GET Fund, Health Insurance Fund, and Social Intervention Fund. So once the good people of San Prokofi and Apafu and Lolobi do not have a member of parliament, it means they will be deprived of the MP share of the District Assembly Common Fund. Right. They will be deprived of the MP share of the Ghana Education Trust Fund. Mm -hmm. They will be deprived of the MP share of the National Insurance Fund. And they will be deprived of the MP share of the social intervention fund. So I know this is what is worrying them. As I have come to my constituency, those funds that are made available to me, the good people of Bana are going to benefit. So where will the good people of San Prokofi, Apafu, Lolobi, and Lipe get access to this their constitutional allocation. Right. So these are matters of constitutional interpretation and there's a need. You can't say because the constitutional say, constitution says you can't create a constitution within the four years and do election within the four years.
Once this mess was created by the government of the Republic of Ghana and the Electoral Commission together, then the people of San Kofi and Papafu and Lolobi should go and suffer the sins of the the mess created by the Electoral Commission and the President okay. together. Mm -hmm. So it's an issue, maybe there can be an exception, that no, that this is not deliberate. The people were not part of the creation of the sin. Once they were having their own dispute, their own conscience, then the government and the Electoral Commission created this mess. Mm -hmm. Let's cure it by making sure that they have a representation in this East Parliament. Okay. Maybe there can be an exception to that. Mm. These are matters as a country that we need to come together. Right. To solve. With the bottlenecks that you have outlined, what assurance can you give the people of Cell that as Parliament prepares to resume on January 25, we're likely to make some inroads in resolving this issue? Crosby, you remember the Speaker of Parliament himself was very furious and annoyed with the non-representation and the inability of the Electoral Commission and the President, the Government of the Republic, to give the good people of San Kofi, Apafu, Lolobi, and a representation. Mm -hmm. Some people did not understand why the Speaker was annoyed with such things. So maybe the time has come for us to cure the problem. Mm. Uh, what I want is, uh, if you could give us some, you know, concrete steps that you hope to take you have particular interest in, in, in the issue is if parliament can is you come against that the, the light the, the call is dropping okay what i'm asking for is with the challenges that we're facing we cannot you know create this constituency and organize elections in in the, in the four years parliament is resuming on 25th january what possible interventions could there be to have this resolved we must have a way of resolving it. I don't think somebody will be interested in striking an electoral commissioner. It's not a good news for the representative, for the reputation, national, our national reputation. We have not come out from the mess created from the striking of Jim Stan from office, mm -hmm. uh, striking of Charlotte Ose from office. Ne internationally, it's like instead of being the first, we are now the last. Because we, that Nigeria, the whole West African sub-region, they were all learning from us as Ghana being the beacon of democracy mm -hmm. and the oasis of peace and electoral peace in Africa and in the West African sub-region. After Sarkin, Charlotte say, the President of the Republic had to go and take the Nigerian Electoral Commission, Professor Jiga, to come and give orientation on how Ghana should go about our election 2020 and all those things. Mm -hmm. That is what ended up in court. We've not come out from that mess yet. And I would, I would not advise that we should be going on that tangent. But whatever we will do as a country, we must do it to give the good people of South a representation in Parliament. So that their children, you know, it's a poverty striking area already. It's part, it's part of the OT region. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's an area, OT region, Northern region. All the five regions in the north, including OT, they are all poverty-stricken regions. So if their descendants are being deprived of the MPs' emergency allocations, they, are not, they have no access to MP Common Fund, they have no access to MP Health Insurance, they have no access to MP Get Fund, they have no access to MP Social Intervention, mm -hmm. and you think they can endure this for four years, I don't think it is acceptable. We must find a way of resolving it. Okay. Uh, uh, Ibrahim, thank you. But what, what I wanted was if you could uh, mention a way or two, but uh, thank you. We'll, we'll get back in touch with you for, for more of this. Ibrahim uh, Banda is MP. Ibrahim Ahmed is MP for Banda and also a member of the Special Budget Committee in Parliament.